What's going on, everybody? Nibiru Freedom Fighter Royally Fly in the house. What's going down, everybody? It is gloom and doom out here today. This video is about, you know, people who don't leave their comment section open. People who don't like to interact with their subscribers. People who ignore their subscribers will not answer questions of their fans. Everybody, all of us have small cult followings. And we have people, loyal people, who, you know, watch us, you know, and root for us. And, uh, you know, some people choose not to associate with their subscribers and to disable their comment sections. I don't do that personally, but there are people out there that do that, like Twatter. He does that. Um, well, actually, he didn't do that today. He posted a video and his comment section was actually open. He must have forgot. And uh, uh, one of my homies, uh, you know, started commenting away. And within fucking 60 seconds, it was already back disabled again. See, I don't do that. I like to interact with my subs. I like to answer questions, one-on-ones, whatever, you name it. You know, I'm royally fly. I'm the beer freedom fighter. I'm royally fly. But, yeah, I like to leave my comment section open. You know, I like to interface with my subs on a daily basis if they want to ask, you know, questions about my life. You know, ask me how I'm doing. Ask me things about, you know, things I'm seeing in the sky, Planet X, Nibiru, UFOs. You know, I like to be able to interact. And some people don't. And uh, believe it or not, Twitter does have a small cult following. And, uh, you know, he does have fans. He does have subs that want to communicate with him, that want to talk to him on a daily basis. You know, I've seen a video of a girl... You know, she was asking, how do I get a hold of this guy? How do I reach out to him? I started following him. I like what he's got to say. And uh, I can't get a hold of him. And that's because he doesn't interact with none of his subscribers. He doesn't have the, the thick skin like I do, like some of us do on YouTube. You know, YouTube's not for everybody, you know. It's just not, you know. He does a lot of the stuff himself. Like, he, he trolls. He, he's a cyber bully, but he... Will not admit that. He'll deny, deny, deny until he's blue in the face. But, you know, you gotta have tough skin. And some people just weren't made for this rodeo. And uh, I was made to ride that whole full eight seconds. I am, you know, the rodeo master. And uh, I don't let shit bother me. I don't watch idiots' videos. I don't even partake in watching them no more. If somebody comments that I don't like that's got a bad comment, I remove the comment and block them immediately so they can't come back the next day and leave another stupid comment. And that's what you do. You know, if people want to start riprap, you get rid of them. But, you know, you leave it open at least so you can communicate with your subscribers. But he doesn't, you know what I mean? I understand he's got a lot on his mind. You know, he was just fired from uh, his job at the Oracle Company. And uh, I don't know why he was let go, but all I know is that he was let go from the Oracle Company, I guess. And uh, he is now working for a temporary agency, making $12 an hour. Um, and what he's doing is he is a stay-at-home secretary, basically. Now, I know what you're saying. You've never heard of a male secretary before. They are out there. They are slim and nil and in-between. They You will not find too many male secretaries but they do exist and twatter is one of them you know he makes 12 bucks an hour he's making what we're all making now he's he, he he's he's feeling what blue collar and hard work has to be well that ain't hard work though so i can't really say that because all you're doing is filing papers and answering phones and shit like that but yeah the oracle company let him go so he's been dealing with a lot the thing that bothers me most you know, is the fact that he just calls everybody who runs a Planet X page a drug addict. They're all mental cases and drug addicts. Whether you have Planet X in your channel name, whether you talk about Planet X, whether you mention Planet X, you know, he considers you a Planet X channel, and he considers you fear porn for profit. And uh, first of all, I'm a Planet X channel. I believe in Planet X. I follow Planet X. I follow other Planet X pages. And, uh, What was I going to say now? Oh, yeah. I'm a Planet Xer. And I don't make any profit off of any of my videos. I don't have a GoFundMe page. I don't have a, you know, PayPal links on any of my videos. I don't, I'm not monetized at all. So I don't make a fucking single cent off of any of my videos, my views. Nothing. I don't make money off of YouTube. 
but he claims that all Planet X channels are just fear porn for profit, FP, fear porn, whatever. And it's not. That's not the case. Because like I said, I am a Planet X channel. I believe in Planet X. I talk about Planet X from time to time. And I do not, do not make one single penny from YouTube. Nor do I plan on making any money off of YouTube in the future. Even if I had 100,000 subs. I still wouldn't do it. Because I'm not a sellout. I don't sell out. Like some other people do. But anyways, this guy accuses us all of being drug addicts. This and that. And that, you know... Sure, some of the people that run Planet X pages, you know, they probably do have, you know, drug habits. But not all of them, but this guy makes it out to believe that we're all just drug addicts living the lie, living the same lie. No, we're not. And uh, if that ain't the pot calling the kettle black, I don't know what is. If I can remember distinctly, you know, he likes to smoke pot and eat edibles. He buys edibles off the street. I can remember one time distinctly he was doing a live stream with scott and claudia and in in the middle of the freaking live stream he basically od nodded out in the middle of the live stream and he passed cold out because he smoked too much pot that day and he ate he, he went out and bought a bunch of edibles and ate a shitload of edibles and the dude just nodded out in the middle of a live stream anyone else remember that you guys remember that anybody else can reach back in the archives you guys remember that at all because I remember that distinctly, but it didn't dawn on me to the other day. I was thinking, and, you know, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, what about that one time? But he calls everybody else drug addicts. And this dude's passing out in the middle of Scott and Claudia's live stream, nodding out, snoring, because he ate too many edibles. And said, oh, no, I know what you're saying. Marijuana is not a drug, right? So it's okay. You're not a drug addict because you only smoke pot. Well, I got news for you. A drug is a drug is a drug. Anything that alters your mind or your mood or your perception, your way of thinking, is a drug. Caffeine is a drug. Nicotine is a drug. You know what I'm saying? Sugar is a drug. Uh, marijuana is a drug. Uh, opiates are a drug. Co cocaine is a drug. Methamphetamines is a drug. Hallucinogens is a drug. They are all drugs. So if you're thinking to yourself that because just because you smoke pot and eat edibles that you're not a drug addict, well, if you smoke pot or consume and eat edibles every day, if you smoke at least one time a day, you're a drug addict. You're a drug addict. Any way you look at it. So, the fact that you're calling all and everybody who runs Planet X channels drug addicts and mental cases, huh, mental case, uh, we let your videos speak for themselves when it comes to mental case. Because the way you're all over those videos, your eyes are popping in your head, bulging out to the left and the right. You're, you're moving your hands, you're fidgeting. And, uh, you know, we see that. We see that. But the fact that you call us all drug addicts is appalling. It's untrue. You know, this guy trolls himself, like I said. He's cyber bullies. He made, his whole page was dedicated to me last week. The entire fucking page was nothing but about 68 videos of just me. Old videos that I did edited up. And uh, they some of them were hilarious. You know, I enjoyed some of them. They were they were funny. I did watch them. You know, I, I have since since then, I have not watched any other trolls videos. I don't even watch them. I don't like them, dislike them, nothing. I just don't give them the time of day because they're not worth my time because I'm royally fly. But I did check out a few of those. Some of them were hilarious. Some of them were a little untasteful, and some of them were a little scary. Like I said, the obsession, going back two years into the vault. And uh, before I was even involved in the Planet X community, this guy had videos of me. When I was just talking to nobody and had like one or two subs, before nobody even knew who I was. So that scares me in a sense that he's been stalking me for a very, very long time. But we're all drug addicts. He's not a drug addict, though. You know, so he says. Now, I don't know if the heroin thing is true. I don't know what your drug of choice is. But I do know you smoked pot and ate edibles. And I do know you nodded out in the middle of Scott and Claudia's live stream. That I do know. So, you know, I don't know what, you know, like I said, I have my, I have my speculations on why you no longer are obsessed with Planet X. And you no longer are so gung-ho on Planet X. Because you used to be. And you used to be one of those people. You used to be one of those people that used to put out the fear porn and scare people. And now you're, you know, rejecting that. And now you're saying that it's all fake. 
and people who talk about it are liars and convicts and drug addicts and mental cases. And that's a flip-flop in itself right there. When you believe in something and you push it on the people, and then six months later, you reject that and you try to change the people's way of thinking about that, you're going from one side of the fence to the other, and that's what you would call a true flip-floppity, flip-flop. Now, they used to call me flip-flop, but I only went back and forth when, you know, I didn't agree with what was going on, and, you know, people would pretend to be cool one day and then do something the next, and that's why you flip-flop, because of other people. But you flip-flop, I have no idea, but that is the biggest definition of flip-flop. Now, everything you say about other people, you do. The drugs, you know, flip-flop. Everything, dude. Everything. 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 Now, I'm sorry you lost your job at the Oracle Company, homeboy. You know, now you're one of us. You make $12 an hour. You know, that's about what I make, so we're good. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're one and the same now. We're one of the same, but we're not one of the same because you, my friend, are the biggest liar on the net, the biggest hypocrite on the net, the biggest all around everything on the net. And like I said, I'm sorry about the Oracle Company. I'm sorry it didn't work out. I don't know why you were let go, but I'm working on finding out that information and, uh, but I'm happy you found a new job as a stay-at-home secretary. That's like a stay-at-home mom type of thing, huh? Changing diapers and shit, except you're filing papers and uh, answering phones for people and things like that. You know, it's kind of like meet the fuckers with male nurses and shit. Well, now you see a lot more male nurses, but male secretaries, that's like unheard of. That's unheard of. And the way he wears those shorts in those videos, that would kind of set up a red flag and say, yeah, definitely male, sec male, male secretary. Definitely, most definitely. I gotta go, people. You know, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this shit because it touches nerves with me, and I don't like the fact how this guy treats everyone and talks shit about everyone, cyberbullies everyone, brings people's families and shit, and uh, he's got his own fucking demons in his closet. So, uh, peace and love, everybody. I gotta go.